Hello, today we are going to draw regular star polygons from the regular polygons that we have seen here on our screen. We are going to transform them into regular star polygons which are also known as concave polygons. To draw regular polygons you have to join adjacent vertices but when drawing star polygons we have to join non-adjacent vertices skipping one vertex in star polygons order 2. In star polygons order 3 we join the vertices skipping two vertices at a time and in order 4 we skip three vertices at a time and the others continue like this. You can only draw regular star polygons to an order less than half the n-sided polygon. There is a mathematical formula which tells you how many star polygons we can draw in an n-sided polygon, which we will look at in more depth at the end of this video. So let's start drawing some regular star polygons from the regular polygons we have here on the screen and with numbered vertices. The pentagon, the hexagon, the heptagon and the octagon. In the case of the pentagon, let's draw a star polygon by skipping one vertex as described before in order to star polygons. So here from 5 to 2 and now from 2 to 4 from 4 to 1 and from vertex 1 to 3 and finally from 3 to 5. So now we have arrived back at point 5 passing through all the vertices of the pentagon and you will notice that we have been able to achieve this without lifting the pencil from the page. This is one of the criteria when drawing a real star polygon. Later we will look at degenerate regular star polygons in which we must lift the pencil in order to complete it. So now from our hexagon we are going to draw a degenerate star polygon with a green line. First of all we'll join points 6 to 2, our vertices 6 to 2 then 2 to 4, 4 to 6 and here you can see that we need to lift the pencil in order to complete the star. So now lifting our pencil we must start again at point 1 and join vertex 1 to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 1 again. As we can see, the degenerate regular star polygon is formed by two equilateral triangles as shown here. Next, from the regular heptagon, with a red line, we are going to draw another order 2 regular star polygon. Joining point 7 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 1, 1 to 3, 3 to 5, and finally 5 back to 7. And again you can see that you ha don't have to lift the pencil from the page. So now in the same heptagon with a blue line we are going to draw an order 3 regular star polygon skipping two vertices at a time. So to start we will join vertex 7 to vertex 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 2, 2 to 5, 5 to 1, 1 to 4, 4 to 7. And again, you can see that you don't have to lift the pencil from the page. So now, again, in the same heptagon, we are going to draw with a yellow line an order 4 regular star polygon, this time skipping 3 vertices. And, as you can see here, it is going to coincide exactly with our previously drawn blue order 3 star only in the opposite direction from 7 to 4 and this proves that you can only draw regular star polygons to an order less than half the n-sided polygon. So now from the octagon with a green line we are going to draw an order 2 degenerate star polygon. First we join point 8 to 2 2 to 4, 4 to 6, and 6 
to wait. And here, as you can see, we need to lift the pencil in order to complete. So now lifting our pencil, we must start at point one and join it to vertex three, from three to five, from five to seven, and from seven back to one. As we can see, the order to the generous regular star polygon is formed by two squares. And finally, with a blue line and from the same regular octagon, we are going to draw an order three regular star polygon, skipping two vertices at a time. So we will start with joining vertex eight to three, from three to six, from six to one, from one to four, from 4 to 7, from 7 to 2, from 2 to 5, and finally back to vertex 8. And again, you can see that you don't have to lift the pencil from the page. So a quick mathematical explanation about how many regular star polygons and degenerate star polygons can be drawn in a regular polygon. And remember, you can only draw regular star polygons to an order less than half the n-sided polygon. So, first step is to divide the sides of the regular polygon by 2. For example, a 5-sided regular polygon, if we divide 5 by 2, we get 2.5. So, order 2 is the only possible star. Now, to check if this star is regular or degenerate, we check to see if 2 is a divisor of 5. And as we can see, it is not. Therefore, it's a real star polygon. And if it had been a divisor of 5, it would have been a degenerate star polygon. So similarly, with the hexagon, 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So the only possible order is 2 again. But this time, 2 is a divisor of 6. Therefore, it is a degenerate star polygon. So again, with the heptagon, which is a seven-sided polygon, seven divided by two equals 3.5. So in this case, there are two possibilities, order two and order three. And neither of these orders are divisors of seven, so both are regular star polygons. And finally, in the octagon, or the eight-sided polygon, eight divided by two equals four. So in this case, there are also two possibilities, order two and order three. In the case of order 2, it is a divisor of 8, so it's a degenerate star polygon. And in order 3, it is not a divisor of 8, so it's a regular star polygon. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe or press like.